Can it be called milk? That's the question the FDA had to answer when it comes to plant-based milks like almond milk and oat milk. For now, the FDA says they can still be labeled milk. But as KLTV7's Lexi Vanetti reports, there is a catch. Bobby Trimble is the owner of Trimble Farms in Big Sandy. He's been in the farming industry for 52 years. And with the recent FDA labeling draft... Well, it all boils down to using the word milk. You can now comment on the guidelines for labeling plant-based milk alternatives. As a farmer and as, as the dairy industry goes, the word milk is a dairy product. The draft says plant-based alternatives also can be labeled as a milk. But beverage makers must label products clearly by the plant source. Also, the label must have a nutrient statement that shows how the product compares to milk, such as if it has lower levels of calcium, magnesium, or vitamin D. The FDA draft also says labels on plant-based milks can continue to note higher nutrient levels. And when it comes to alternatives... You can sell it. If people want to drink it, that's fine. But don't even give that comparison that they're, they're the same because they are not the same. Which clinical dietitian Sydney Martin says while there is no good or bad, you need to read the nutrition label to see which option is best for you and your health. Cow's milk is going to have higher calcium, B12, as well as vitamin D. But if you are lactose intolerant, plant-based sometimes can be better for renal patients. And if you are looking for weight loss. And that's okay. If there's other options, that's fine. But when they put the word milk on there, they're trying to get it in your mind that this is like milk when it has nothing to do with milk. So how does the labeling affect farmers? Probably not going to impact me as much as it is big farms and the dairy industry as a whole. Lexi Benetti, KLTV 7 News. And fortified soy milk is the only plant-based food in the dairy category of U.S. dietary guidelines because of its nutrient levels. If you want to comment on the labeling guidelines, visit kltv.com, scroll down and click right there on the big red box. Inside you'll find a story with a link to comment.